Hi, I'm Adam from Watford Opinions, and De La Feu has officially, permanently left Watford. Now, it's it's not going to be an unpopular opinion for me to say. It's a kind of disappointing, a bit sad. I mean, that that's not an unpopular opinion. I'm sure most Watford fans feel that way. De La Feu was one of the best players to ever wear a Watford shirt. I think that's really hard to deny, especially if you're thinking in terms of technical ability, trickery. De La Feu really had it all, and especially when he was on his day, there was just no stopping him. So just to review his time at Watford, in 70 appearances overall, he scored 17 times and assisted 11 more. He initially joined us in the January of 2018, first on loan from Barcelona for a fee for the rest of the season of about one million pounds. Then by the end of the season, Watford exercised the permanent buy option, which was in the range of 12, 13 million pounds. So he was definitely one of our more expensive signings, but he was worth every penny in my opinion. In his first full year with us under permanent contract, the 2018-19 season, he, he helped guide us to our second best finish ever, best finish in the Premier League and our second ever Cup final, no fan will ever forget that FA Cup semi final where De La Feu came off the bench, scored one of the best goals in New Wembley has seen so far, and then won it in extra time. There's really the memories De La Feu has given Watford fans. It's hard to draw too many players who aren't club legends who have been able to do the same. And then last season, I got De La Feu on my kit last season. Um, which is another reason why it's really sad he's left. Uh, he's the first player I've gotten on a kit who's departed. Um, so that's obviously a bit disappointing, but De La Feu last season played al almost every minute he possibly could before his injury, I'll get to that soon. But when we were doing really poorly at the beginning of the season without Dini, when Saar wasn't really in the lineup, De La Feu was really the player carrying the weight of the team, not to say we were able to pick up that many points before Pearson came in, but any any remote positives we had usually came through De La Feu. And then once Dini and Saar were healthy, where we could have a strike force of De La Feu, Dini, Saar, that's when things really turned for the better. In 10 matches with that, we won five times and lost either twice or three times. So when everyone was healthy, we did so well. And then De La Feu against Liverpool got injured and... I am convinced if De La Feu hadn't got injured in that match, we would still be in the Premier League as I speak. Because the truth is, once De La Feu was injured, we, we couldn't replace him. There was no replicating him. We tried to put well back out wide, sometimes Pereira, and there's really just no way to replicate De La Feu, the threat he brings. Because once De La Feu was out, the defense is new. We'd either be playing hoofball to Dini or trying to force feed it through Saar. De La Feu, he, he very frequently could make something out of nothing. And once his threat was gone, so was our entire attacking threat. So if De La Feu was still healthy, um, what well, was healthy um, past that Liverpool match, I still think we'd be in the Premier League and De La Feu would still be our player. But as we all know, we were unfortunately relegated. And De La Feu, 26 years old, he's at one of the most pivotal junctions in his, in his career because 26 is kind of the age when players hit the best moments of their career. So De La Feu, as much as he loves Watford and it's known that he loves Watford, he really couldn't afford to be playing um, not top flight football. So he completed his recovery at Udinese. He's been working his way back into the first team action. He's been getting stints off the bench just because of injury rather than form. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the notable part about this transfer now except for the fact most people probably thought any permanent move away would happen at the end of the season, depending on whether Watford were promoted or not, because it seemed like if Watford were promoted, he'd come back. Now that's very unlikely unless Udinese were to loan him back to us. But the reason the deal happening now is noteworthy, and I hope it's not an accident, is because De La Feu, regardless of what the fee is, because we don't know what the fee is when it's a Pozo to Pozo, team deal because like, they can really name whatever they want it's more about reallocating funds hopefully this frees up funds to make one or two more transfers before the deadline closes in a couple days because we've yet to find a kapoo replacement we've yet to sign another central attacker because our attacking ranks have been poor uh, just to say to put it bluntly i mean dini dini's been doing better recently but not in terms of the goal scoring department he's more dropping back creating play from there so we haven't really been able to get someone who could potentially be a prolific striker like Vidra. 
Um, not to say he would be prolific necessarily, but he's definitely not going to be any worse than what we've got otherwise. So hopefully this means there can be some reinvestment before the window closes. Because in terms of our starting lineup, maybe with the exception of um, Andre Gray, we don't really need anyone. But as we saw at the beginning of the season, we're one injury away from being on the ropes when it comes to left back. Femini can cover, but then Ngaki is in the right back position. Then we're really on the ropes behind that. In terms of the midfield, Hughes and Cleverly both healthy, doing very well. Even Chalab has not been performing badly. But if there's one more injury, it's going to be hard to compete. So hopefully there's one more transfer incoming before the window closes and hopefully this gives us funds to do so but overall it's a sad sad sight to see De La Faye leaving not to say it's completely unsurprising but any hope that we were holding out is now unfortunately gone thank you for listening